LSD was discovered by Swissy Albert Hoffmann in Octagon, Switzerland of the Nazi Templars in 1938 by Hoffmann Laroche. Then it got commercialized by Sandoz Chemicals of Basel 19, in 1948. Uh, which is now the biggest chemical industries in the world, called Novartis, also working for the worldwide Swiss military industrial complex, especially concerning LSD. But how do you commercialize a product like LSD, which is bad for you, so you can't sell it as a beauty cream or in some health store making, uh, making you younger pills? Where do you sell bad things? Well, to the military, of course. So, with Swiss gay Edgar Hoover, real name Huba, already in place at the FBI, and Swiss President Eisenhower, and Swiss head of the CIA, Alan Dulles, all coming up in exactly the same time, Swiss he tried to make fortune out of their LSD, selling it as a fantastic mind control product to the CIA, which was already practically in the hands of the Swiss Octagon by that time. So simultaneously, CIA's mind control programs artichoke under MK Ultra started off. Why MK, by the way? Well, because in Swiss German, control, as in MK, mind control, so control with a C, in German is being written with a K, MK Ultra, the Ultima Mind Control. At the same time, the Korean War was raging on, and the Koreans were winning through their sheer numbers by Chinese backup. So an anti-personnel weapon had to be brought in. So the USA, and already in Octagon's hands, used biological weapons against the people of Korea. Terrible crimes against humanity in the name of a free America. And Swissy laughing behind the screens. Just as later repeated with Agent Orange against the people of Vietnam and their children. But for a biological weapon and brain killer, you need to do some testing first. And in a more nearby countries, so the test results can be officially looked through the authorities of some allied controlled state. Therefore, Swissy and their Octogon decided some terrible crime in France on August the 15th, 1951. After which, only five days later, on August the 20th, 1951, Project Artichoke under the MK Mind Control Ultra Ultra, the MK Ultra officially started. Look at it, same expression, look at his eyes as the man in France. And here, another one of those shooters. Yeah, look at the man's eyes, it's the same as all the others. So within five years after LSD, an enormous organized Swiss evil was let loose on the world. And I wonder with what they treated me, additionally to the oxygen deprivation in those Swiss torture facilities, in which I spent three and a half months in 2015. And actually, I had the same look as um, the French guy who was being carried away and those the, the other two I just showed you. The same look with the, in the eyes. So what did they do? Well, apparently it needs more, you know, to bring a South African down, fortunately. The CIA's experiment on an entire French village, including their children, led to the death of eight innocent French people and numerous locked up for the rest of their lives in a mental institution. In the same week, the MK Ultra mind control started and used against the Koreans and their children too. So yeah, Swissy did it again, making one hell of a deal, adding more to their accumulated wealth. Well, money has no color, they say. 
even if it smells like blood. And just follow the money trail, which will always lead you to Switzerland and the biggest perpetrator of the most vicious of crimes. And here he says it himself, Albert Hoffman. Before LSD got onto the streets in the 1960s, or we know about that, we were able to gather a lot of therapeutic experiences, you know, on innocent, you know, patients. And in France, the substance was used in the psychoanalysis of patients who couldn't be talked to. You know, yeah, you couldn't be talked to anymore to those French people, eh? They say it themselves. He knows it, <laughs> of course. So let's look at the time perspective and the dates to see that it's not a coincidence, but organized crime. LSD got commercialized under the name of Delizid in 1948. Korean War from 1950 to 1953. Project Artichoke MK Ultra 1951. Test LSD in French village in same week, 1951. Frank Olsen died in 1953. Swiss Eisenhower, President, January 20, 1953. Also 1953, February 26, Swiss Alan Dulles, head of the CIA. And Swissy Alan Dulles already worked for IG Farben, promoting Zyklon B, being already largely in, largely in the poison business, having lots of experience. And he spent many years in Bern, the capital of Switzerland, with the apocalyptic bear, bear in its logo, coat of arms. So on August 15, 1951, in five days before the official start of Mind Control Ultra, on August 20th, 1951, Swissy started Project Artichoke by poisoning the people of the small village of Pont Saint-Esprit by putting the LSD made in Octagon, Switzerland, in the flour for all the local bakeries. Knowing that a true Frenchman won't start the day without a piece of his notorious French bread, not only looking like a baseball bat, but on this infamous day would knock him and his wife and children literally out of their socks and off their feet. Eight people died, hundreds in asylums, People thinking their bellies were eaten by snakes. An 11 year old who strangled his grandmother. People believing they were planes jumping out of windows, seeing apocalyptic beasts and believing their hearts left them through their feet. Oh yeah, Swissy making big bucks here while US Air Force using it on the Koreans. And I tell you guys over there, concerning Swiss Obama's actual gun grabber deal, that Octagon capable of doing it, and on the Koreans and the Frenchies, they will not hesitate to poison the gun owners in the USA, using Swiss made LSD through Octagon CIA, now even domestic enemy. So you ain't eat French bread coming weeks, yeah? You all preppers make your own flour. This is what the Octagon would lo love most. Poison all the gun owners so they get crazy just as in that French town and all shoot each other. Anyway, it's the first amendment thereafter. But to get the first down, they have to kill the second first. Because it's the second that protects the first, and nobody can be emotionally manipulated by one of Obama's tears to eradicate the First Amendment of free speech. It's the First Amendment they after, believe me, because the pen is mightier than the sword, especially what I'm telling you here is very dangerous to them. Because it puts a name face and location 
in your crosshairs and on the bullseye. And as I always do to get the whole picture, let's have a look at history. The name of that French village is Pont Saint-Esprit, which means the Holy Spirit Bridge. And it's quite a special name for a village, therefore needing more thorough investigation for a name like that. And yes, the bridge was built from 1265 till 1309, in the time the T Templars founded Switzerland in 1291. And in fact it was built by the Templars who called it like that, because everything went so well building the bridge that God's Holy Spirit must have been there. This is the reason, in fact, why the Swiss Octogon attacked that particular village for the LSD experiment in 1951. Because they felt betrayed, they built a beautiful bridge for France, and by the end of it was 1307, Friday the 13th, getting persecuted by the French king, needing to leave and just give away the beautiful Holy Spirit bridge. In a time when they saw it coming and therefore founded Switzerland, the fortress in the Alps, mountains, on August 1st, 1291. Swissy never forgets anything, except for their own crimes, of course. And as you can see, they're more than just complicit in this huge crime providing the LSD weapon of mass destruction. But Swissy ordered, financed and organize, organi organized it too. As I told you so, Switzerland of the Nazi Templars somehow always has that dirty little fingers in it. So here you can read some articles and some newspapers. I put it in the... Uh in the links in the descriptions for you. And here's some more in another newspaper about this horrible Swiss crime by Octagon. And here's some more, another article. Well, the devil's biggest weapon is deception. And Swissy always hides everything in mysterious ways, silent as ever. <laughs> 